Yo, Robert. Yo, it's shaking AC. I am still laughing. About, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I always am, especially around you. You make me laugh. But about Ryan Smokin from Smokes Poutinery and Dean Blundell, the radio host celebrity in, uh, from Toronto, when they came to do the Haunted House Face Off at Control V. And I got had the pleasure of being there and watching them live in person as well. That was like the highlight of my trip home to visit my mom and check on her. That was so fun. Wasn't that cool? So that, that's a game called uh, Affected the Manor. And it's mm -hmm. produced by a company called Fallen Planet Studios out of the UK. Our friend Alex works there. Um, and it is probably one of the most scariest experiences you'll have in, in VR. The, the quality, the visual quality of that game is so detailed that it really, really does feel real. Um, and having those two guys in it was such a blast and watching their reactions to it and to virtual reality, it was hilarious. It was, it was just so funny. <laughs> like, and, uh, and for, for the record, for, for our giant audience of three that's watching, um, you know, I tried it in back in January, this game, and yeah. I had to take the headset off after about three minutes and I'm like, I don't think I want to do this. It was so <laughs> scary. So, so just so everybody knows that there, there is actually a video on my LinkedIn that people could go look at, uh, posted, posted mid August, I guess, but, um, we had Dean or uh, Ryan smoking in the one, what do you call that? Like a station, of a virtual station. reality station, yeah. Yeah, and then Dean Blundell and the other, and they were facing off, and they were like smack talking each other. Now, what I thought was so funny was that Ryan, when when he first got there, he was like, "We made a video of him smack talking Dean and being like, you 'You're going down.' I've been practicing. I've been watching horror movies, brother. And then and then he gets in there, and within like two minutes, he's going, "You won, Dean. You <laughs> yeah. won. He's too he scary." Crumbled. He crumbled. He fell to his knees multiple <laughs> times. Yeah. Multiple times. Now, and not that Dean wasn't scared. I, I mean, I saw a few like freakouts with Dean as well, but to, to see two grown, two grown men in there, um, just, you know, emotional and, and, and scared, but yet now they both got all the way through. Yeah. But Dean won. Cool. Dean won. Dean won. Yeah. He yes. got through faster. Yep. Um, but to, yeah. So the reason I thought this might be fun to talk about is, because it is, we've got to figure out, maybe somebody can help us that's watching this. We've got to figure out a better way to try to help people understand how amazing it is. Like well, Dean was like, Dean and Ryan were like, that was like the most fun I've ever had in my whole life. Yeah. I'm like, wait, you guys are missing, no, I'm not kidding. It was, it, it should be that fun. I'm like, wait, what have you done in your life that that's no, <laughs> but like, they were like that, like, they were like, I just don't even know how to describe that. And and you've said it to me, you know, you, you say we sell fun or no, we sell happiness. Like you and come out of there. Yeah. yeah you know? well, that, that game developer just released an upgrade to it where they start to track a lot of statistics that happen, like how many times you scream and things like that. So there can actually be a leaderboard built on this. And so maybe, Maybe we just take two virtual reality headsets and we just go on tour across Canada, across US in a bus and we stop and we get like some not notable people or anyone and just say, come on in. It's, it's the affected the manner challenge. Let's take on your friend, take on your mom, take on your business partner, take on your favorite actor or actress. <laughs> yeah. Right. So yeah. Um, between, between that and then they were, had to have like a snowball fight mm -hmm. and they, what was the, uh, the boxing one? That's that's Creed, like, you know, the Rocky Balboa series, uh, the yeah. actual Creed intellectual property was released on, on VR, so they were boxing each other. That was cool. Oh, that was so funny to see them, like, dodging and all this and, like, you know, yeah. thinking that they're getting hit and stuff. And Yeah, and as soon as, soon as like, the, the game launched and they had their gloves on, Ryan was just like, oh, yeah, this is what I've been waiting for. You're going down, <laughs> Dean. <laughs> Meanwhile, he had just lost the other three games and... <laughs> Eventually also lost that one, but. <laughs> yeah. And he needed a hug. He was like, hold me, hold me. Yeah, my favorite was at the end when, yeah, that was actually right after the haunted house when they, they just like grown men come together, big hugs. And I think Ryan was almost literally crying. Like he was like emotional and he's like, yeah. hold me. Yeah, yeah. and sweating, right? Like I, I put somebody in that game that 
um, hasn't even lasted a minute. And when they left, their, their palms were sweaty, their knees weak, were weak, their arms were heavy. There was vomit on their sweater already. Spaghetti. <laughs> Isn't that like a song lyric? Yeah. Some lyric? yeah. That's um, Eminem. Yeah, Lose Yourself. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, but it's true, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so really cool experience. Uh, really fun to see them in there. Uh, that all stemmed from the Support Local uh, initiative that Ryan uh, and Dean were working on and still kind of are, I believe, to help support small business during you know, a time when, when businesses are struggling for sure during uh, the pandemic. And so uh, very cool that they came into Control V. And, and I love that Ryan is bringing attention to the fact that and Dean, they're bringing attention to the fact that franchises are small business. That's a, yeah. that's a whole other rant that like, I just love to, you know, talk about. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Anyone out there who's listening that doesn't understand that I would like thoroughly incur or vigorously encourage you to educate yourself because franchises are small businesses. They're owned by local people with their own local money. They service the local community. They hire local people. You know, it doesn't matter how big you are. You are a small business owner. You're just using somebody else's concept. Anywhere you look at franchising, that's what it is. Whether you're a government official and you're trying to figure out how to support small businesses, look towards a franchising community, you know? Yeah, and I mean, the the franchisee in the local community is typically very community-driven. We ranted about community involvement uh, recently, and they're typically, that's one of the big ways for them to build their business is by getting connected to different uh, other small businesses, by supporting sports teams, you know, kids, uh, little league or whatever it is. And so there's lots of um, ways that they connect with the local community, and, and yeah, they might be have the name of a brand even if they're subway or wendy's they're still a small business owner so i really like that that ryan yeah. you're bringing that to you know what I, I wonder maybe maybe you and ryan and i and maybe dean we could do this cross-country trip and we stop at franchisees not franchisors yes. and help give them exposure and talk about what it's like to be a franchisee and working as part of a franchise system we can hit all the major cities in canada us maybe even the small ones there too that's a really good idea. We can, so it, it's really like more like a support local initiative, yeah. but with, uh, with PR. Exactly. And, and we need, so we can bring poutine with Ryan. I can bring yeah. PR equipment, right? Uh, we just need sponsorship, right? Because we need to rent like a bus and have somewhere to yeah. So by the way, if anybody's watching us, we just came up with a really cool idea and we're yeah. looking now for sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to get all kinds. I, I, we're we're going to get DM'd left, right, and center. Okay. Tell I'm us looking below forward. in the comments if you'd like to sponsor yeah, us. Yeah. We'll, we'll film stuff. We'll put it on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, you name yeah. it. And, they'll, and, and we'll, we'll, if you sponsor us, we will mention you. Yes. <laughs> we have a really uh, great package for this, which we're going to come up with after. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> yeah, I really like this. Bringing, I love this. Bringing attention to franchisees and small business. You know, having been a franchisee myself, it, it, there, you know, you, you get, you get categorized sometimes when you're in a franchise brand because people think, oh, that's a corporate chain and they don't understand yeah. that small business owner, yeah. baby, all the way. You got to support them, right? What's the stat? Like 80 or 90% of Canada, at least is uh, like people are employed by small businesses, right? You, you, you've yeah. got to support, support local ultimately means support small business. Yeah. Which is one of the reason I, reasons I love working with franchisors is that I'm helping them create more jobs and more opportunity for small, uh, for people to run small businesses and, and, but using their idea. And, and I love it when they're very purpose driven. And on that note, we've talked about how, uh, I think in one of our last rants, we turned the tables and we, we talked about you and, and Control V. And I love the idea of bringing VR to the masses and, and all the benefits VR has, like whether it's helping people with PTSD or um, educate in the education sector or construction or whatever it is. You've taught me a lot about that. Mm. Well, in that case, let's single-handedly rebuild the economy. <laughs> <laughs> let's wrap it up. Sounds easy. Okay. So we're going to wrap it up now? Yeah, we are. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Go, go be, be awesome. awesome. <laughs>